Hi everybody. So as promised, I'm doing a um, a review, a video review on the Abyssal Tarot, which I recently talked about. And um, I had wanted this deck for years. It uh, it is considered an erotic deck, I guess, an adult deck. There is a lot of nudity, so you know, just understand that ahead of time. And of course, I, I never have an intention to offend. But I really do get along very well with adult type decks, erotic decks. I, I find I, I just like a sensuality and and um, and the idea of using those images to for people to heal. So this uh, was not meant to be a tarot deck. The artist's name is Shelley Corbett. She's a photographer, and. She uh, she was raised in in a in a, a Catholic family, and she says that her family her parents never showed any affection. And as she you know became an adult, she um, really I don't think it seems like she didn't really have a real connection or understanding with her own sexuality, and even her own body. You know, a lot of people aren't even comfortable in their own skin. And she got married and had children. And, and at that point, she again was looking at her sexuality now that she was pregnant and having a child. And things, you know, like all over again, she was feeling questioning and um, like who she really is, I guess, is what she's trying to say. You can read this on her site. And I, I don't want to put words in her mouth. So. Um, so, so she started doing photos and chose to do them underwater. So all these photos were done underwater. Sometimes one person, sometimes a couple is under there, under the water. And they're very beautiful. But I'm going to show you in a moment. I won't talk too long. Um, so as I was saying in, in another video uh, about the deck, it's, it really has a moody sense. Now, because they're underwater, you, you don't really see like the eyes of the person real well. You, you don't see their facial expressions. But... I find that that doesn't interfere, that, that the imagery and the colors are so astounding and so beautiful that it really can speak. Uh, it certainly speaks deeply to me. It is not a deck that I use for daily draws. It is not a deck that I use often. It's a deck that I use when I, I feel I, I want to work with this energy. You'll see that they're, they, like, because they were not set to be a tarot deck, the images are not probably going to relate in your mind to the way you're used to Rider Waite Smith or so. It does come with a small booklet and there's a little um, a little prose I guess you could say about each card which was she did not write. Uh, Stephen I don't know how to say his name, I'll write it in the bottom. He was written by a man named Stephen. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry Stephen. So here's the back. Now um, I have to be honest, the cardstock, it's very thin, so I am careful when I use the deck. Uh, the deck was pretty expensive, and it took me a long time to, to take the plunge, so to speak, and I'm really glad I did. So, uh, what else do I want to say? Um, my main regret about the deck is that I was not one of the models. Um, that's how much I love this deck. I wished I had been one of the models in, in the deck. So, here's the four. And I, you know what? I'm going to go through all the cards. Normally, I do short reviews, and I don't. But I, I, I know that there's going to be somebody out there that wants to see them all. So if you don't, then you just skip ahead. So there is the full, very colorful, and beautiful. I like her, her use of the veils and materials under the water. Here's the magician. And I don't want to point out a lot of the things in the cards, because if you decide to buy the cards, um, I, I think it's more important for you to feel what you feel and not think about what I said. You know, you know have your own interpretations. But I, I will read you from the book here. This is the High Priestess, and just to give you an idea, because he did a wonderful job, interesting, really nice job writing um, a little note on each one. So here, the High Priestess. A dark gowned woman floats in the void. Her face is obscured by an aura of moonlight. 
Her naked belly suggests the secrets known only to women, a mystery herself. She guards the gate to mystery. So you can see he, he did a great job on the book as well. But I, I just think it's beautiful. And you can see what I was talking about. You don't really see her face, but, but the mood is set. Uh, okay, so here is the Empress. This is sweet. And the emperor, now we see two people here, and the man is sort of um, protecting the woman or guarding her. The hierophant. Now you can decide who in this picture is the hierophant. Is it the man, and is he acknowledging the, the goddess spirit? Or is it the woman who's the hierophant, and he's the adept, the lovers. The chariot. So she is sort of climbing or holding on to, it's almost like a little ladder, climbing it. And yet if her head, it looks like it's bound so she has to use her will to really get to where she wants to go. Interesting. Strength. And she looks like she's putting on a helmet there. As a warrior. Here's the hermit. I'm not sure what they're holding. The Wheel of Fortune. And so we don't see a wheel, but she's, but we see the dove's feathers here. And she seems to be looking at them and the movement of them. Justice. The hanged man. Death. So some of the images are very haunting and uh, deep. Uh, temperance, of course. <laughs> this is a really interesting write-up. Let me see if I... He has a different take on it. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Just, just give me a second here in the book. And Okay, here. Let me, let me hold it up for you. <laughs> An angel sits with head in hands, still aching from the excess of the previous night's carousing. This wretched morning, after the liquid ecstasy of his earlier revelry, is both fair and edifying. Isn't that a strange, um, very, something to think about, right, for temperance? The devil. But, you know, you don't have to use the book. You do what you want. <laughs> and here's the tower. This is really strong colors. And you could sense that eruption. Star. There's the moon. Sun. You know, sometimes it takes a while to look at them so you, you know what you're really looking at. And, you know, on my camera, you probably won't see, but in person, take your time and you'll find so much in these cards. Here's judgment. In the world, beautiful. Okay, so let us go on to the minors, and we're just going to go one suit at a time. You know what? I'll start with the swords. Here's the ace. And the two. The 
The Three of Swords. Wow. That's an incredible image. Four. Five. Six. Yeah, that's an unusual Six of Swords. Again, if you want to refer to the book, um, you know, it's, it's really different. The, the way the one woman is sort of um, having to acquiesce to the other. Seven. Eight. So you can see that even though she had no intention of making a tarot deck, that the you could really feel the archetypal um, work that was coming through, and I, I'm sure that's why she was approached um, to have it turned into a deck. Here's the ten. Page. Knight. Queen. And the King of Swords. And again, he, like the Emperor, he's holding on to his loved one, protecting them. Or controlling them, maybe. Okay, let's see, we have the wands here. The Ace of Wands. And the two. Three. I do find it is really nice to use this once you've done a reading with another deck and you want to bring this in for something a little different or deeper. By the way, the um, original title of, the, of each piece is written on the side of the card, and it's also in the book. So here's the Four of Wands, and that's different because it has a you know, black and white look. Five of Wands. Six. Seven. Just the eight. The nine. She's standing guard. Ten. The playful page of wands dancing with her red veil. Night. Queen. And the king of wands. Okay, let's do the oh, let's do the cups. Okay, the Ace of Cups. It's the two. So you can see, you know, the, the water just changes the images. It makes them so interesting, I think. Um, here is the Three of Cups. Here's the Four.
Okay, now the seven is interesting. Because this woman, she seems to be tied down. Um, and it's the idea that she's willingly tethered to her lover, but um, has fantasies about being unbound. But, you know, but they're just fantasies. She doesn't really want to break the ties with her lover. It's, it's an interesting, I think, um, take on it. Oh, here we are with the eight. And the nine of cups. She's just enjoying all of her, you know, you can see all the gold around her, like as if it's her wealth. And she's taking time to enjoy that. Ten of Cups. Page. I just love this Knight of Cups here. In a way, she's just arching back to her lover. It's so beautiful. And the Queen. Oh, and the strong, gorgeous King of Cups. And he's lifting his lover above his head here. All right. Now we're on to the Pentacles. And here is the Ace. Two. Four. Oh, here, this is an interesting four of pentacles. It's very different because it, it's a struggle almost between like the haves and the have nots. It's the five. And, you know, when you see a few of them laid out, which I really can't do on my small camera here. It is absolutely stunning. You know, it's the, the messages and the colors and the emotional pieces that come through. Okay, here is the Seven of Pentacles. Eight. I, I know it's not for everyone, but... I, I like it so very much. It's so special. Nine of Pentacles. The Ten. Beautiful page. The Knight. Queen. And the king of pentacles. So if you work with people as I have through the years, it seems to be a topic that comes up over and over again. With, whether it's tarot or other forms of healing I'm doing where people have, look, you know, people have issues especially around their sexuality and how they feel about themselves. And, you know, people have had tough childhoods and things like that. And so if you, if you tend to find yourself working in that realm... Um, like I said, it's probably one of the most main topics that I deal with. I think this deck is invaluable for that type of work. Or if you're working personally, you know, with, with any of those issues. Or if you just think it's sexy and fun. Whatever it is, I think it's a very special deck. And I, I just... Shelley Corbett did a wonderful, uh, wonderful thing with this. I, I feel she did, you know, with these photos. So, everyone... Thank you for taking the time to watch. I'd love to hear what you think about it. Um, take care. Bye.